Hello and welcome to the Soul Collect channel. We collect baguettes of salt from the tears of enemies and today we're going to do the same thing as we did last week. Go through a couple decks first. Decks that are catching my eye in terms of what they're doing, results. And then I'll play a few games with a deck of my choice, um, which will be Royal Bolton. This is the deck I made very recently and I, and I think it's kind of cool. I'll explain why in a sec. Okay, the first deck is a deck that was, I think, first devised by Josh Lau. Um, from the card guys, uh, Warrior Aficionado, and he made this deck where you're only playing uh, dual wield swords. Uh, and I mean, Dynamo should give it away that it's not solely a combo deck, but it has the ability to go off and combo uh, at any point in the game once you have a couple soul ready to go. Uh, I've never played this deck. Uh, I, I don't like weapon orientated decks. I know it sounds kind of weird, but when you play Bolton, you're playing, you know, Take Flights, Bolton, whatever, Vita Vanguard. Luminous Ascension is, makes your weapon strong, but a deck like this, or like Kasai, or Dory, where you have to attack twice to reset dynamos, it sort of becomes very repetitive in, in, in my experience. And I haven't played much of it, so I could be wrong there. Um, but yeah, so this deck uh, gets a lot of value through dynamos, through cards like Blade, uh, Blade Runner, um, other ways to get go again and make these sorts of tech a couple times. And then, out of the blue, you, you hit a Oath of Steel with a couple Luminas and you're dealing 30 plus damage. Uh, that's the power of this deck. Uh, I don't know what it's good against, what it's not good against. Um, to me, it seems like it can block well. It can take aggro decks out quite easily, maybe mid-range decks as well. But I reckon it suffers into very turtley decks and combo decks. I just don't think it's quick enough to put pressure on a, on a deck that's going to combo it. Um, Kano... Uh, Dromai, Dromai's gone. I don't call Dromai a combo deck, but it gives Dromai a lot of space to build a board. Uh, uh, who else? I say I say that, and it sounds weird because this is this can be a combo deck, and you can build up to it, but it's not built that way. You can see this one, two, three, th uh, twelve, eighteen. Uh, not too many charge cards. So 18, 24, 27. Well, 27 charge cards, quite a few, actually, if you think about it. Like, if we go back to our normal decks, and you have more in here as well. Um, so I could be wrong. I could Maybe this can be tweaked to be a very good uh, OTK-style deck. Um, again, it's not my cup of tea, but I just want to show you guys what's out there. Um, and you can have a look. Links in the description. I don't know. No matchups. It's just, just the deck that I think... How many cards is it anyways? Is it all the cards? It's 80 cards. I don't know if this is his precise 80 or it's an 80 that I just... I I, I, I fix up a few cards or not. Um, but yeah, check that deck out if you, if you like that style. And there's a few players who, who just play uh, uh, dual wield combo style deck. Uh, and they love it. So... I mean, you look at people who who put it, who play combo against Azalea. Those are really a strange, strange bunch, but they they will probably be more into a deck like this. Um, yes. Okay. Then we have the same two decks as last week with uh, Marcasia's deck and Odie's second place uh, Battle Hardened deck. The reason why I'm bringing these two up again is because. Makarsia uh, played in two pro quests over the weekend and he lost to one Bolton in the combo in the top four, I think, and he won the second one. What he did differently, oh, this is, sorry, I changed this up a bit. I put it in Amnesia's, right? So this is, this is not his deck. This is, uh, uh, I think it's his, based on his deck and I just put in a couple Amnesia's. He put in the combo into this deck uh, to fight, I think, for the reason of of beating certain de certain decks or having a chance against certain decks, uh, which is a possibility. I would like to see it. I don't think he shared it online. I'd like to see it to see how he made room and also kept in 
uh, the equipment suite. Um, I reckon you might have taken away one, two, three, four. That, that's all you need, right? Uh, one, two, or one of these guys. Uh, two amnesia's gone. Yeah, there are ways. There are definitely ways to do it. Uh, it would be nice to see uh, how he's done it. And so I was playing my deck, traditional Raiden deck, and I was struggling, struggling, struggling. And then I picked up his deck, and I thought, you know, I'll give it a shot. And then game one against Kasai, uh, I, I got a via the Vanguard turn, double Bolting Blade into a double Lumina turn. Yes, I won. Uh, and it just seemed to just roll from there, and everything just felt so smooth and so consistent. I wasn't. I don't don't need to put in cards like Snatch or or uh, E Strike, uh, and don't miss them at all. Actually, I thought I'd miss the Red Valiants, but I don't. The yellow Valiants are fine. Um, it just it just works. It's like it's just it's just smooth. I don't know the better way to uh, describe it. Uh, I've played seven games. I've won seven games. Um, I think this was a free win. I think he quit halfway through. I don't know if I was winning that game. This was a lucky win, I would say. These two, I just, yeah, I, I, I got the I high rolled a couple of these games. But it just feels good. Uh, I know seven games is a very small pool to say that this is that it feels comfortable, but it does feel super comfortable. And if you're a Raiden-only player, uh, I would suggest really trying to stick out. I normally play decks like this, Odie's uh, second place Battle Hardened deck, um, and then there's another Discord user who took down a uh, PTQ with this deck. I think he made a few minor changes. So these decks have worked multiple times. Uh, if you're looking for something this coming up weekend, I would suggest one of these two. Um, Maybe get the exact list from Marco. But the, these two are the decks that I would suggest. I do think, I think I said it last week, I do think combo is, the is four slots for combo I think is worth it. Um, just just based on that power it can output and, and the fact that you can, you can just destroy it. You, you get some free wins out of it. Um, the reason why I've taken it out is because of the free losses, I don't know if that makes sense. I just sometimes you just lose because you don't get it, and that's super frustrating because you don't do anything. If you're not comboing, you're hardly doing anything, right? Um, and those that I think that's what's really put me off more so than winning unfairly. I, I need to assess, reflect on my feelings after these games to be hundred percent certain. Uh, but I am. I know I feel really bad when I just don't get to do anything with, with a combo deck. At least with the Raiden deck, you always feel like you're doing something. Um, yeah, so he's got Snatches uh, in there. He's got another Valiant Thrust, two Courageous Steel Hands. I know the winner of the PTQ changed a couple cards. I forgot what he said. Um, I think he added in another Courageous Steel Hand, I believe. Um, and yeah, so those two decks are the decks I would try. <laughs> Excuse me, if you're looking for something new, um, then it's the Saber Combo Midrange style deck from Josh Lau. Um, I think he would be able to, there's, there's more on Discord, you can ask him on Discord to, fig to figure out the exact, the better 80. I know there's a few running around, a few just running around. This one's quite old. It's a couple months old now, this one, I believe. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, that moves us on to the deck that I'll be playing today, Royal Bolton. Why did I build this deck? Because I was so fed up of losing to Kessai's and Dory's that I thought, how do I beat these guys? If I if I have to out aggro them, but they block me so well, how do I beat these guys? And I thought, okay, I'm just going to put in a couple cash-ins and Crown Dominion. Because this will give me these big, massive turns to to take them down, and they don't disrupt much. So... Without the disruption, I can set up a cash in arsenal, wait for the V the Vanguard turn, and just go off huge. Uh, that means you don't you sh you shouldn't be playing cards like this into that matchup. So you don't screw up the one chance you have to go ham with with cash in. Um, I played I think 15 games or so now, and I'm liking it. It's feeling good. Some of the ga 16 games, some of the games I don't even use the gold, and so I end up 
with a useless helmet and I still win or lose. I think I've lost one without using it. I've won, uh, yeah, against Bolton. I lost Bolton, um, Raiden Mirror, and I shouldn't have been playing, I shouldn't have been playing Dominion anyways, I should have been playing Warband. Um, a couple of Zuri's, I think I, I, I didn't do it, and I still won. Victor, I mean, so what this deck has done for me is, against Droma, oh man, there was a game against Droma, which is incredible, is it's giving me ways to win I wouldn't normally win. I don't know if I would have put, been put in that position if I had a Warband. Um, but I was down 18 life. I was, I was at like four life against Azuri's 18. Um, didn't even have a full hand. Played cash in as a last resort. Drew into. I needed two charge cards because I had Lumen in hand. So and I drew a, a, a Vida Vanguard plus something else. I had Tunic up. So I went Vida Vanguard 4, 5, 5 with my Lumina. Brought me up to six life. Brought him down to whatever. Took another hit from him, went down to two life, and then I, I, I finished him off. So I don't think with, without that, I wouldn't have been able to do that against Dromai. <clears throat> he played three rakes in his second game. She. Um, and so he was attacking with eight, seven uh, little ash wings on multiple turns. Uh, and then the last turn, I just took it all. I went down to two or three, I forgot what it was. And I got to play my V the Vanguard plus cash in turn with two snatches, I believe. So then I brought him down to zero card hand, three life. He had to play three sigils after that, and I still uh, managed to win. So it, it, it opens up these insane turns, which I like. Uh, and then you just got to be not, you just don't be greedy. So when you, when you don't need it, don't play it, play Warband. What I used to do is I used to play it every single game because I thought, I've got it, let's use it. But just don't. Just, just only play it against the decks that give you time to do it. <clears throat> that don't disrupt much. I did play against Bravo, which was maybe an error, and I did win. Um, but he can disrupt you. So you need to be aware of that. Okay, let's see what's up. Let's try and get a game in. Game or two. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm getting confused here. I just bought a new mouse and keyboard. And I can't, like... No, the Kano I lost to was a pitch that Kano. And he got me for 38. After... His, his Blazing Aether was 38, sorry. Paste. Probably too late now. Let's see. Victor. Cool, that's a good one. Uh, Pion... Sing. <clears throat> I'll go first. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do like you. I don't particularly need you guys, but I think they're okay to have. Do I want Rembro? I don't think so. These are just, just a pure block on the hammer. Or if he tries to uh, pummel something that I can, that I can block with. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah, and then we go Crown Dominion because we've got the time to do that. This should be a funnish game. Do I have enough cards? 66. Yeah, so why is it not letting me submit the deck? This is weird. I've got my equipment. I think I've lowered the volume now of the sound effects within this so it should be okay I believe make my own let's see what's my internet is bugging up again maybe let me let me check <coughs> freaking buggers Dun, dun, dun. I missed it. I missed it. Missed the noise. 
Maybe I'll just take it all the way down. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just turn the noise off completely. And now we wait. There are a few matchups built in. Uh, I think I gotta check them out again because I'm not sure if they're totally fine, totally correct. Yeah, I wish I could give you guys new decks. Um, we got this one. These two I've just done. There's one PTQs. There was a couple second placers, a couple fourth placers, uh, top fours, I should say, a couple top eights. There was a top four in Holland that I wasn't a part of, unfortunately. Okay, this sucks. This really sucks, but we're going to do it. Um, we're going to go first. So why does this suck? Because if it's hatchets, it's one sideboard. If it's decimated, it's another sideboard. And if it's uh, the other one, Dawnblade, it's another sideboard. So I'll do this, I reckon, for just to cover all bases. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how to... I think hatchets is the most popular. Let's just do this anyways. I don't think CNC is really needed in this game. No matter who we put, no matter who it is. It is Dawnblade. Oh, that hurts. Um so I guess we do this. But you what's more important? Lumina or Cashin? I would say Lumina. Yeah, I'll pay one. Can't tell if the sound is coming through or not, so I apologize if it is. Oh, I'm getting stuck here. <clears throat> okay, it's coming very lightly. Let's bring it up a bit. Should I have just kept two luminous? Potentially, right? Here, I think I take everything. And just hope he doesn't have a go again. Because then I go... I can block one. Okay, Sharp and Steel's coming in. Sword's coming in. Ugga, ugga, ugga. Um, I think we just block with one. He's got go again. He's got go again. Not too fast. Um, and then we light the way... Let me lose our boots straight away. I don't think you want to do that. Let's just take it. <clears throat> We've got two reprise cards. Even better for us. And then we go into turn three with V the Vanguard up. Hopefully he blocks out Lumina. Okay. Nice. So these are two reprises. Oh, it's cracking. It's crack a lacking. Now, what do we do? We can take it. Give him a counter. And what do we come back with? We come back with 11. Which is worse. He's coming, he he's doing 10 plus 1. The responsible thing here to do is block it. I just don't know what he has. He could have... But then, yeah, if I, if I block it, my turn's dead. My turn's done. So what I could do is this. Force him to do something. I take less damage. Let's do this. Route. Okay, so no matter what, I would have been... Would have been got. Okay. So 
So the life leader we're meant to get, we don't have. Okay, that's good. That is good. Okay, also good. Using his armor. See what he does here. You could do a one block, one block. Nice. Okay, it's pretty good. Um, we can do a full block here, right? And then come back with illuminate. Get rid of his counter. I pay him two. Coming for five. Let's see what we get. Could be two cards we get out of him. Okay. Not too shabby. Again, I don't mind holding this in for a bit. We might even pick up a cash in at some point. We only have one of left. Uh, block, block. So we block for 10. We block for more than 10. Are we being too... We're being too silly here. I hope he tries to go over. Okay, nice. If if he's got a CNC, we're just screwed. Okay. Um, what do we do here? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, what can he have? Can, there are things, right? There are things. So... I think we just give it to him. Maybe he's glint. Gives him another... Another one. And... Let's give it to him. Because then we can go be in bravado or take flight. Okay, run through. Yeah, okay, so there is things. There are things. Um, damn. Okay, so he draws a card. Maybe we just go anyways. Give him the sh give him give it to him. Um, it's gonna come for seven. It's gonna hurt. Um, but then we can put you in Arsenal, because right now you being here sucks. I think we just give it to him. He's not the best, for sure. He gets a counter and a lot of damage. Heart of Fane down. It looks like he's a more on the blocking side of things. But he is doing some damage, yo. Okay. Got him for Fiverr. Fiverr MacGyver. 
Um, okay, he's gonna block with a soul sh uh, uh, Sigma Bubble. It's fine. He's out of armor. I think I'll be give two here. Just to get damaging. I could have uh, not done that. Here we'll put us an equal life and I'll have a direct arsenal. If this was another that would be sweet. I don't know if, if I'd rather have that or... Okay, so he's going for a Shanti. Yeah, th that's why I mean a bit more defensive, but... I've only got three cards now. What's he do here? You can still push damage over, but the reprises doesn't work, so that's good. Good for us. And then we come in with Lumina and another V-turn in two turns. He will have the tunic up before we do, which kind of sucks. Is that a third Lumina? That's a second. Shinke, uh, shunt. Still play Shunt. Okay, that's fine. So I'll pay for it. Hopefully he doesn't have another one. He could do. He could ruin our day. Okay. Okay, that's good. That is good. Um, here, this is a tough one. Pitch. Put you two under. This kind of sucks. But then the following turn will be very good. I want to keep you do that, and the following turn will be Mahusive. Or I just play it out now. I think I just do that, right? Uh, because I just, I just don't want to give him that, that opportunity. Um... Let's see, let's get you to at least a four, plus two -er. Okay, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Mm, doesn't look like it's gonna happen at all. Oh my goodies, this is the worst uh, tenacity I've seen ever. Hasn't got a single plus. Uh, how big is his hand? That's the question. Okay, that sucks. Hmm. Uh, I'm not going to be able to block anything. He's got a lot of cards still. 
Okay, that was it. So he's got three reprise. <laughs> three reprise cards in there. Nice. Oh, he's just giving up. Um, okay. Uh, I wouldn't have given up. I thought he was in a good spot still. But I was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I was a Lumina. Good Lumina turn away. And I might even have been up to three uh, Solio. <clears throat> well, I would have drawn two, right? These two. I've drawn three. One, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, I, I, I thought I was going to lose that game. Uh, just because... But then the power of not blocking against Dorinthia, Dawnblade, sometimes puts you in a good spot. But you just missing a lot of go-agains, I felt. Um, let's try one more. Paste. Didn't get to show the power of the crown. That's not the point. It's there as a tool like everything else in the deck. Shouldn't need to force it. Captain Badger. So this one we do not. Where's my Abazalia? Oh, okay. That's weird. Captain Badger will go first. I like that. Um, yes, we've got Sinks. We've got D-Rex. We've got two CNCs. And we've got Warmongas. Uh, do I need Spirit of Aurelia? That's fine. This is a tough matchup in most cases. Uh, for some reason, I haven't struggled online but i imagine there's a big skill difference uh, in person some heroes you'll find that uh, online there might not be such a big difference but then in person it becomes a whole new story i think that might be the case with azalea i think oof i would have played that after loading your death deal deal skis the lib the the literally diddly diddly dildskis. I can just go straight into Lumina Essential, which I might do. <coughs> Playing Engulfing Light out. You probably won't block it. Now yeah, Lumina, Lumina Snatch. Knock. Oh, that would have been a good turn. He's still doing it. He's still knocking. Knocking at the devil's door. Red. Okay, it's not bad. Unless he gives it plus three more now, somehow. Yes, that's what I was worried about. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So, in that regard, there's no point. If I go to 9, there's no point going to 10. I might as well just uh, express lightning him. That is a painful turn. This is, this is the best turn that they could have for them. Like, this needs to be seek and destroy. This is almost never going to happen. What happened today on camera? Damn it. God damn it. Okay. So we another in your face. That's three knocks at least. Gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't mind if this hits because. Yeah, he gets to do that. Fine. And I'm just not going to do anything anyways. I'll, I will block this. Uh, 
Uh, fast turn. Okay, this is looking okay. Yep, yeah, we can undo. Oh man. It's 10. I go 3, 6, 8, 10. I can do 10. Or just take 10. I come back for. Yeah, let's take it. Uh, sorry, cancel, cancel. I need to go back. I have to block with three because there's no point having this one. Yep. Okay, this is hurting, guys. This is hurting. I'm going to hit with this, right? If I hit with this, then I get to three. Give it a go again. Sword one, celestial sword. If I don't hit with this, I'm in a lot of trouble. Nice. So we're going to eat up all our soul. That's fine. Oh, we might get one. Nice. Okay, turn things around a little bit. That's fine, we don't play Vs anyways in this game. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? Okay, so this is a Rain Razor turn. Drill shot, pippity pop. Okay, then you might snap snappies plus bullseyes. That's an option. But then it's fine. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. It's a big turn, so might as well. That's fine. Um, yeah, I don't mind this. I mean, we are in a bad range now. Life total wise. We haven't hit a D-React yet. We haven't hit a Warmong. We haven't seen C. So this is like, just not good for us. Okay, there we go. Uh, I can block. And playing arrow, he said. I don't want to block anything else now, though. I'm going to keep you for the arsenal. I come in for 4, 4, 4. Come in for 12. Okay, this is amplifying arrow. We know that's coming up. Spire sniping. One of them is an amplifier. Ravenous. Sleep dart. Okay. Because we take it. And hope he sleep darts in. Nice. Uh. Let's go, you. Let's see. I did want to keep that, but Sleep Dart is a must block card. Uh, 
Okay. We have two block and armor. Okay, he's not blocking, so he's got something good. What would be nice, Iron is a soul shield. In soul. I think below is okay as well. Infecting shot. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Oh god. Eight. Yeah, we're dead. Twelve, we block one. Two. Um, six, seven, we block seven. We go down to two. Yeah, we're dead. And two blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take five down to two. Yeah, this sucks. This totally sucks. Um, so I guess the only thing we can do in that instance is hope for a beacon off of you. No charge. Pray for a beacon. A beacon. Nope. Yep, good game. He's blocks with these two and we lose. A little bit frustrating. I feel like we were very unlucky this game. Um, but we didn't... The thing is with, with Azalea, you don't get the time to, uh, it just happens. I mean, I didn't get to, I didn't get to see any, any of my hate cards until that turn. And he got free seven points of damage turn one. Maybe I should have blocked that more there, but I don't think it would have made a difference. Um, yeah, frustrating. Last game, because that was, that was very quick. How are we doing for time? Yeah, still a short video, so we can do one more. We can do one more. Okay, well, we'll go first here. I think I know this guy. Let me message him uh, in my chat. Oh, he's gone. I think I, I think I knew him. Uh, I think, I think Gigi White. There's a, there's a player in Holland called Gary White. I just bought a card off him. Not Gary White. Gigi White. Ah oh, man. Anyways, it's, it's a tough matchup for. Uh, for prison. But now this enable chat is going to go on to the next person. Screw that. 
Do we do Azalea again? No. Let it go, Brad. Let it go. Let it go. Mm, where is my... Yeah, I gotta get, gotta get to work at some point today. Okay, who do we have? Kasai. Okay, this is this is cool. Good matchup. Tough one. Good good to watch. Boom boom. I like soul shields because um they block out the nourishing. Outside of that, I don't think we need anything else. Freddy, yeah. Did I do the right equipment? Yes, good. I do it so many times where I forget to change the equipment. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I will do keep you in, Ars. Okay, it's hatchets. I'm not used to hatchets. Ha. Oh, no. Do I want to keep soul shield? Using the vigorous big was no I don't need to keep a soul shield but I would like to keep a beacon the problem with this deck nourishing hits me every time so maybe I should have kept the soul shield I could block one nourishing I say that probably say that towards the end Fine. Spill blood, sure. Okay, get your gold. Um, This means we've just lost our ability to block. It's fine. The nourishing, I mean. Where does he get go again? I don't think he can get go again. Well, if this is shift the tide of battle, he gets go again. Or glint. Blade flurry. Okay, that's fine. He's losing points there, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, sure. Let it hit, unless he's got to take it on the chin. In which case, we just let it go. He might have a... Hold the line. Okay. Yeah, sure, let's force the blocks out. Yeah. Get the armor going. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not in the best position either. I've got no armor, no nothing. Uh, hmm. Let's 
save some life. I'm losing this race. Uh, deck, deck, deck race, I should say. We have kept enough dynamos for a while, which is good. Nice little spill blood gone. Love it. Boom. Hmm. What's that? Sure. It's fine. I don't mind. Let's save some life. I know, I know it sucks, but I've got to use my tuna counter now. Sure. Spirit of Arinia, that's a good one. Sure. Also finds that I'm not worried about any of this at the moment. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I think I take everything now, right? Yes, I do. Then I cash in Arsenal, Vita Vanguard, and we're going to the races. I just don't just don't draw another cash in. On my cash in turn, please. I beg of you. Um, we are running out of deck. I mean, this is a block heavy deck we're going up against. What's he doing here? Okay, that's fine. Oh no, I can't even get the card I wanted to get because I need to... I'm stupid. I am stupid. Because I need to... Um... Lumina here. Okay, he's probably got the sink below, sure. Yeah. I think we're going to fatigue before you win here. Don't even need it. Don't even need it. Okay. We're going, we're doing it. Sure. I'm going to tenacity so hard. I think we need to stop blocking at some point. Oh, doesn't matter. Here we go. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Doesn't matter. Block more, please. One, two. Shh. 
7. Balance of Justice. Yeah, I forgot about that card. Could prove to be a problem. So that's 4. He's not blocking, is he? I never get good tenacities. I mean, nine's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It ain't bad at all. Suppose of war. Um, hmm. Block, block. Yeah. I won't give him no damn silvers. Uh, coppers. Waiting for his nourishing turn. Oh damn. Oh damn. He got him. So this is the, that's this is the reason why I play this card is into these type of heroes. Hmm. This sucks. So I can go play pitch you put you two under. I think I do that. Glint. That's fine. There's a lot of, a lot of um, gold and copper. Or I need to play both of them, right? So no, no. So I'll, I'll take it. I'll take. It. Oh God! It puts me down to one soul, which is a little bit painful. I can block, block here, and then golfing light. Because I'm, I'm not going to use you anyways, right? So maybe I block. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Please bear with me. So if I block here. I come back with engulfing light or even celestial cataclysm then engulfing light that's okay and then I see and then I read the vanguard yep and then I still get a big turn with uh, this V Oh, cash in. That sucks. I can do this. I can then. I'll keep bolting blade. What do we think? Yeah, I'll keep bolting blade. I don't think he can do 17 damage. Well, with spill blood, there is a maybe. Nice, this is a good one. If he doesn't kill me. Nourishing. Okay, fine. We were expecting this to happen at some point. Okay, this. Is, I still don't think we're going to win. Our, our card is too low. How many beacons do we have? One, we've used all the beacons, damn it. Still threatening lethal. This is lethal by itself. So what you could do is block, 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 block one, take two, block one, take two, take three, Block. Oh, nice. Yes. Thank you. You have to block with it eventually. So that is good news. But 
but I just don't think I could sink the rest through. Seven. Okay. Taking four. And does this win us the game? Perhaps. Let's see what this is. Good game. Okay, few we won. Good game. Just. Just, 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 just. I think if you managed to block that, where would I go? Uh, quick re re wrench. No. Well, what do I have? No, this is useless. This hand is crap. Sorry, I can't do that in time. Um, yeah, so. Frustrating loss to Azalea. Triumphant win against Kasai. And then a mediocre game against Dory. Um, but the, the loss to Azalea. Is annoying don't get me wrong it was very frustrating because they did everything they had to do they didn't i didn't have any of my good cards and she had a lot of her good cards i mean a turn I'm, I'm talking about turn one turn zero specifically after that i'm not sure how it looked on her end uh but we were in the game all the way until that point without warmongers without cnc um uh, yeah so it, it was still encouraging and i wouldn't say I wouldn't be afraid of Azalea going forward I mean I'd just be no I would go in knowing that that's going to happen that can happen um but everything has to go right on their end and things have to not go right on our end uh I think on an even playing field I think we I would I would take it I think again it comes down to player skill level and if I come against uh, the Brody Spurlocks of the world uh piloting Azalea then perhaps it's a totally different story that no matter what I do it's a bit frustrating but we're all just human and we can win win on the day lose on the day and I think with warmongers and CNC's we put ourselves in a good position to win that matchup uh, try the robot deck is fun it, it does help against those pesky warriors that block um, it does struggle well, it, the games that it would struggle into, because you got to use it for sideboard, so you, you just give up the Katsu game, which is a bit of a loss anyways. Um, maybe you're giving up a few points against Kano because you're not playing Nodrun Boots. Um, I got high rolled against Kao, by the way. He, he had to high roll me there. So, yeah. That's what we got so far. 79% win. Man, I thought it was doing better. Start, start, always start so good and then falls apart. Doesn't matter. Keep going. Keep trying. I think in the PTQ that I'm going to, I will be playing this deck. Um, I might be changing out Amnesia's to Valiant for the combo. Uh, still to be decided. Or I might even take out Nelrune Boots. Two Amnesia's. One Valiant. And, and go that way. Anyways, that's it. Those are the three games. I hope you enjoyed. Um, try out some of the decks. See you next time.